comment at you as we look at the impact of bullying and hear some of their stories. Over to the first interview. Hi, my name is Javi Robertson and I'm joined here today with Rosa. We are going to look at bullying in school and how to deal with it. Let's just dive right in and start uh, at, the, at the beginning. Tell me how it started. It started when a girl, a girl in my class started making fun of me for my looks. Oh, that's sad. How did this make you feel? I felt very stressed and insecure about myself. I bet you felt very sad. And who did you tell? I told my parents and my friends about it. it did it help? Did it help you feel better finally telling somebody? I felt very relieved telling someone. What advice would you give? I would advise people to be themselves and ignore the hate. Thank you for opening up. Now we're going to pass on to Matilda. That was very sad, but I'm glad that she got the support that she needed. Now to the next interview about social media. Hi, my name is Scarlett and I'm joined here today with Amelia. We are going to look at social media and how we can keep ourselves safe. Hi, would you like to open to us about how this all started? Well, I was friends with this girl called Grisa and she was basically on her phone and I overlooked and I saw people calling her names and she looked really sad and I just told her to did you take any steps to prevent this from happening now? I tried to explain to the people we were calling and stuff that it's not nice and that if it was happening to them they wouldn't really like it but they kind of done anyway. Do you feel this helped or made things worse? I felt like um, it made things worse because obviously since we're all in year 7 that they want to be like one of the popular kids and that if they carried on testing people to see how far they take it then they look pop more popular. What advice would you give to one of your other friends if they get bullied? I would tell them like not to let it drag on and just to tell the teacher straight away. Thank you for opening up to us. It's been a pleasure to have you. That was the impact of social media. Now we're going to talk to the owner of Jay's Farm. My name is Lily. I'm Kiva. I'm Lily. We're going to talk to Jamie, who owns J-Star. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Ruby. Have you ever been bullied in your dad and how did it make you feel? I wouldn't say bullied as such, but I have had name calling and it made me feel scared and lonely. Oh, that's very sad. Um, well, what rules do you have in place if someone is bullied in J-Star? Looking at JSTAR, we haven't come across bullying. We have had children come from a school that have been bullied and they've come to JSTAR for confidence, and that's really important to us. We have a buddy system in place, so when a child starts JSTAR, they automatically get a friend, so they're never lonely at JSTAR. And we also have three a three rule policy. So if you get three warnings at JSTAR, then you're banned from JSTAR and you can't come back. That includes name calling, being mean, answering back to a teacher, any antisocial behaviour. And th I think that covers bullying, which is why we don't experience it at JSTAR. Thank you. What support does JSTAR offer to a victim of bullying? We would definitely have support for the family in the sense that the bully would be brought in, we'd talk to them, we'd have um, a meeting with their parents probably, and it just, we would definitely make sure that it was stopped. We, we would not tolerate it at all. Thank you for opening up today. You're welcome. That was our interview with Janie. Now we're going to pass it on to Safety Rob. Hi, my name is Rob, and I'm going over the best way, best ways to deal with bullying. Number one, cyberbullying. Keep your account private. Don't follow strangers, don't post rude images, and also, Report people who are mean so they won't be mean to others. Number two, school. Treat others like you want to be treated. Tell teachers and don't be afraid to snitch. 
And so, don't worry about this. Dues. Tell the teacher. Ignore them. Forget about them. Don't be afraid to snitch. Never. Get them back. Be mean and hurt them. Or walk away talking to them back about them. Have you ever been bullied? No. No. Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. 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 How did it make you feel? Stressed. I felt stressed. Very sad. If you were bullied, who would you tell? My parents. My teacher. My teacher. Uh, teacher. I tell my parents and my friends about it. My parents. I would either tell a teacher or my parent. Then a teacher and a parent. My mum. My mum. My parents. What would you say to a bully if he or she was listening now? To stop what you're doing. I'm going to tell my mum and dad. Stop. Uh, to, to not bully and to just to not be like they are right now. Please don't be mean to people. Uh, stop bullying. I'd say stop being nasty to people that they don't deserve. Um, I'd say stop because it's not nice and you wouldn't like it if you, if they were doing it, if people were doing it too. I would say back off and leave your life. Go away. Tell the head teacher so they would get in trouble. What advice would you give to someone being bullied? Um, tell someone. Just tell a teacher and a parent or guardian, or just completely ignore them. Don't be afraid to snitch. I would just tell them to stay strong no matter what the world is telling you to do or say, and just tell an adult or someone that you trust. Just tell the teacher, don't let it, won't let it drag on because it'll make it worse and worse. Just tell, just tell them to, to leave you alone and go away. Tell them to back off and go away. Tell them that as soon as possible. Be yourself. Be yourself!